Okay, so what we're going to talk about now are users. Okay, so with WordPress is when you when you get the default installation, there'll be one user set up already, and you've got to do a bit of work. You'll see that these will be black. So you put the first name, last name. You can put their nickname in there, um, whatever nickname you want, and then you can choose how it's displayed on the website. Okay, I have, I've I've hidden the uh, email address for this, and you put the website in and the uh, and then a, a little bit of biography biographical information about the user and you can change the password it'll give you a strength indicator the passwords are critical that you have something that's not you know like you know susan one two three that that will get hacked for sure okay always make it a really difficult password okay and, and this will give you an indication of the strength of your password it's the number one reason where people get hacked is because they have simple passwords on wordpress and then when you get hacked it's usually a, a robot that does it a bot that does it, that injects code into your site and ruins your website. You've got to pay for a developer to come in. It will happen if you've got a simple password, guaranteed. Okay? So, what we do is uh, you can create the user. Now, the first user is an administration. They've got administration rights. Okay? Okay, so I'm just going to pause this and save this one. Okay, so I'm creating a new one now with, with my username uh, and password. And you'll see that when I put created a password, it said it's very weak. Okay, and you can put in a just by adding adding a symbol uh, to it, you can you can automatically start making uh, the um, you can automatically start making the password tougher and tougher. Okay, it's it's getting it's getting better and better and better. Um, okay, so all of a sudden it's getting better. So you'll see whether or not that, that you've got a good strength password. Now, you can send a password to the new user by uh, send this password to the new user and, and, and it will automatically send them a password to log in. But then you select what type of user they're going to be. Administrator, which gives them full rights and privileges. And editor, which gives them a little bit limited. And you can see here uh, the roles and privileges that it creates. Like an administrator, an editor is someone who can publish and manage posts, including posts of other users. An author is someone who can publish and manage only their own posts. A contributor is someone who can write and manage their own posts but cannot publish them. And that means it goes to you for moderation first. And a subscriber can only manage their profile. Okay? So, when you're setting up a new user, think about what you want. So, I'm going to set this one up as an editor. Okay? And I add the new user. And then you'll notice there that when I edit that person, okay, I can, I've then got a few extra things. I can put the biographical information in, how I want it displayed, all that sort of stuff. Okay? Now, if I add, uh, if I do also, I go to the plugins and I add a new plugin, and I'm going to do that right now. And I refresh this; uh, it should appear there. I'm going to uh, activate the WordPress SEO plugin. Okay, and I'm going to show you what change that makes, and I suggest you everyone uh, allows this one. Okay. Um, Allow tracking now. At the moment, it says huge SEO issue because when I set up a website, I, I have uh, um, I have the, the the website hidden from search engines until it's ready to go. Okay, so with the WordPress SEO, you'll see you'll get all these different things, all these different features. What I want to look at is the social media settings. Um, what you can do is you can put your Facebook page URL, your Twitter your, your Twitter URL, and your about page on Google Plus, and then you select the author for that about page. Okay, you can do a little bit more work there, but there's plenty of user guides for that. Um, but you'll see what it does for the users uh, when we look at all users. Under, under my name, now there's all these extra fields, your Google Plus, all this inform extra information you can put in there, okay? And you can put the SEO settings for the person, so you can put their name and their little bit of a short description from their bio in there, okay? It also adds a bunch of stuff to uh, to your posts and pages so you can work out your SEO for, for that and I'll just give you one quick example of that now okay you'll see this okay now it, it'll, it'll actually uh, it'll actually give you a score see it says that it's a, 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 um, um, a good score but it'll give you a bad score because I haven't set up the permalinks yet you can see that the permalink that would be the permalink uh, Instead of four, it would say test uh, uh, underscore post underscore one. And then you get a score for that. And then you can put the description in. And as long as the title, the description, uh, the SEO title, um, 
and the description match the content with inside the uh, the article and the title, you're going to find that you get a good SEO score for it. But anyway, let's let's get back to the users. Okay. Okay. So you'll see here um, you've got the extra settings. So you fill that you fill those extra settings in once you once you installed that plugin. But the, the, main, the main things are is you set it up with a really good strong password and you also have the roles and capabilities sorted out and you understand those. So if you invite other people to contribute to your website, you know what you're doing there. Okay, thank you.